I've, what I thought I'd do before I go out today is I'll just check to see about the flight intelligent mode. And it's there. Now, I must thank Marcus, uh, because he did say to me, make sure it's in P mode. And what he's on about is this switch here. Um, because if you put it over to sports mode, then just here, the intelligent mode will not appear. But if you put it back to P mode, which is to the left, uh, the intelligent mode is there. And if I click on the intelligent mode, um, it's there. So, we've got all the things that we need. So, that is uh, a big improvement. So, for my last video, I said about do not buy the Spark. I, would, I retract that comment. So, yeah, go and buy the Spark. <laughs> Just shows you, doesn't it? When you, I mean, I haven't used the Spark for ages. Uh, I'm just going to come out of that now. So there it is. There's the flight intelligent mode, which I'm sure when I went out last time, it was not there. But anyway, it's there. So what I'm using today is my iPhone Mini 12. Um, we've got the takeoff. Yeah. So, let's get out there and try these new modes. Meet Spark. Small, colorful, smart. A powerful flying camera that you can take anywhere. It's so clever, it activates by recognizing you. Just launch it from the palm of your hand. It even returns when you call it. And land like this. Easy. Can't get everyone in the shot? No problem. Watch as it hovers precisely in place, always at your command. Control it with your hands, remote controller, mobile device, or DJI goggles. Using GPS, Spark knows where it is, even if you don't. It'll even sense obstacles to avoid things in front of it and come home safely. Think you got smooth moves? Spark's footage is smoother. It takes the shake out of your shot, so you look like a pro. Not feeling the control sticks? Perform preset flight maneuvers with a single click and get those epic shots. Here's a way to stand out from the crowd. Spark automatically adds shallow depth of field to your photos. If you don't know how to fly, just tap fly. Let's see if you can handle sport mode. Spark keeps you in the frame, so all you need to do is act naturally. Edit your epic videos and share them instantly. Spark your aerial creativity anywhere. All you need to do is seize the moment. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you the quick shots. I forgot about that the Spark's only got 16 minutes of battery life. We've already got 87. Uh, and I suppose because the batteries are getting old, they probably drain a lot quicker. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go into the quick shots itself, which is on the left-hand side. You tap on the quick shots itself. Now, what you do now, get yourself in the picture. Now, I've got no SD card in the drone at the moment, but it will save it. But anyway, what I'm going to do, you only need one finger because using the DJI Go for it, and just draw a little box around yourself. You see the little box, it's got the active track. Now, the very first one you got there is called the Droney. And what I'm going to do, I mean, what it is really, it's the selfie. Let's just bring it in a little bit closer to us. Now down a little bit. That's it. See, it's 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 realigning itself up. So that's what makes pretty good. Okay, we're ready. 
So we're going to press the drone. Now it's all self-explanatory. We got a distance, 40 meters. I think that's enough for me today. So that that's fine. Just do that again. So we're in there. The drone. Yes. Okay. Got Three, the go. Press two, the go button. One. There it goes. Now, if you notice, you've got a little red cross on the left-hand side there. If you wanted to stop at any time, just press that stop. Now, what it's doing now, it's actually recording that footage for you. You ain't got to worry about recording it. It does it all, it does it all for you. Once it's reached its uh, distance, it stops. And once it's stopped recording, it will come back to the same position as when you first set it. So, I mean, that, that's pretty good. So it's coming back to us now. And once it come back, that little red cross will go off. So I've got Bonnie in the picture. She's watching as well. She's been a good girl. So when the next one, so we, for the next one, we draw the box again. Well, we're going to do the circle this time. Just making sure everything's safe. We press go. Off we go. Three, do the circle. Two, one. It's going to go anti-clockwise on this one. Now you can change the direction if you wanted to. Now, where the car is, is a, is a tree there. And I'm hoping it's not going to hit that tree. No, we're away from the tree, which is good. So it's done its full circle, it stops. You notice the red cross has gone off. So it's all ready for the next one. So box around it again. We've now got the helix, which I love this, this mode. So we press OK, we press the go. Three, I'll keep an eye on the two, battery as well, 66%. One. So what it does, it sort of goes up and it comes back down the wall, Jer. coming around doing its full circle. There it goes. And if you notice what it's done, it, it sort of come in and it's made a bigger circle. So it's just re-coming in again to the position that it first started off at. And we're gonna try the rocket. So it's just coming in. The, yeah, the thing's gone off. I'm just gonna bring the drone in a little bit more Let's bring it in a little bit more. Okay, bring it down a little bit more. Okay. So, draw the box around me. So, we're going to do the rocket. Press OK. Three, two, one. So, it's going up. I'm putting the thumbs up. It's going straight on up. Still not too bad on the battery. We've got 53%. Still going up nice and high. Okay, you just hear it clicked off. It's coming back down now. So that was the quick shots. So we had the selfie, oh, sorry, we had the drone -y. we had the circle, the helix, and the rocket. You got four of them, pretty good modes. Uh, like I said, they all self-record as well, so you ain't got to worry about pressing the record button. So we're all back in there now. What I'm gonna do now, I hope you enjoy these videos, guys. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, all these videos that I do, all off the cuff, I haven't been flying the spot for, quite a few years I, I do forget things 
Uh, and if you don't understand something, please contact me and I'll, I'll try and go through it with you because I know it's not that easy when you're looking at the screen. I, well, I try and put the screen up so you can see what's going on on the screen as well. Um, I hope that is some sort of aid. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little drone. My own, like I said, my only regrets is it's such a short battery life. You know, it, and that 16 minutes doesn't last long. Um, obviously, if you've got quite a few batteries, that's all right. I, I only got two. Uh, one of my batteries packed up anyway, so I've only, I only got two batteries now. That's why I don't make these videos that long, unfortunately. But anyway, safe flying. I'll catch you on the next one. We're going home now. It's bloody freezing. <laughs> Thank you.